Welcome back to Good Day Columbia here on a uh, Cinco de Mayo celebration. A lot of great things happening this weekend. You've got Kenny Chesney. You've, got, uh, you've also got um, the Kentucky Derby happening. Right. But tomorrow at the Richland Mall, the STEM, the South Carolina Science Academy, is putting on a STEM day for the kids, a STEM camp. That's correct. Nathan, uh, Nathan and Bennett. Right. Got it. All right. Just like that. So what is STEM and what do you guys do? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. Okay. Um, it's a term that became popular in the early 2000s, and the reason why was because we saw that there was a need to have a more interdisciplinary, integrated approach to science, technology, mm -hmm. engineering, mathematics. Uh, STEM surrounds us every day. Perfect example, this new station here. So right. um, it, it, this school will give us an opportunity to really explore how we need to be educating our ch children in relation to STEM moving into the 21st century. So. All right, so we've got some experiments mm -hmm. here. So what are we going to do? Nathan, what are, we, what are we going on, uh, Bennett? This right here, this mm -hmm. is this is water mm -hmm. and... Cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Water and cornstarch. We call it oobleck. It's a non-Newtonian flu fluid. And the reason why it's a non-Newtonian fluid is uh, the uh, density of it depends on the pressure that's applied to it. Okay, explain. So, okay, mm -hmm. What do you mean, the density? Why don't you demonstrate for uh, Bennett? So, if mm -hmm. I punch it, you think it'll prop my well, fist will probably go straight through right, it? Can you, can you all see this, by the way? I don't know if you can see this. Is Here, you can pour it in this, too, okay. so that they can see all that right. it actually is a liquid. It is a liquid. It's a little thick, but it certainly is. Okay, so it's a liquid. It's kind of like out. cake batter. It is kind of like cake batter. Mm-hmm. So if you if you slap cake batter, would you think it would splatter all over you? Well, of course it will, Nathan. Okay. I mean, goodness gracious! All right, so I get this poured in. Mm -hmm. All right, it's like real getting thick. Okay. <laughs> so it's all over me now. All right, so all right, so you got you got it in here. Now what? Now I'm gonna punch it. You gonna punch it? Wait a second. How did you do that? It was just liquid a second ago. It's because. Whenever, the more pressure you put on it. Right. But see, now it's liquid again. You can put your hands in it. But watch. This is crazy, y'all. Are you seeing this? This is really, here's really cool. Here's a ball. Okay. Here's a ball. And then it suddenly is not a ball. <laughs> All right, look. I, I mean, I, didn't, I barely passed earth science. So, I mean, this is blowing my mind right now. It really is, Nathan. <laughs> this is kind of cool stuff. So, tomorrow right. is your STEM camp. Right. And so kids are going to be able to come out and learn about this stuff too? Um, actually, tomorrow what we're covering are levitrons, mm -hmm. which uh, basically is where you use magnetism to allow vehicles to travel without wheels, so there's less friction. So it's a really exciting experiment wow. that children will be doing. Uh, we, really like try to, we really try to integrate technology and engineering in what we're doing and get, get children thinking creatively about what they can use, how they can use what they're learning in the real world. Right. So <laughs> let me ask you this in real uh -huh. quick. What would you use this particular thing for besides having a whole lot of fun on a Sunday? Well, actually, uh, there was a university that actually explored using that possibly to cap uh, oil wells at one point, in, one point in time. So there are several different uses that you could have for something like that. Yeah, I want you to mm -hmm. see this. Okay, look at this. So I'm punching it, and it's solid, but then I can pour it. That's, that's magic, man. I'm not kidding. That's pretty cool stuff. You are one smart cookie. You understand that, Bennett? Yes, sir. One smart cookie. Bennett Young, Nathan Yawn uh, from the uh, South Carolina Science Academy. Now, we, you guys are going to stick around. We have another experiment, too, to look sure, at in a few yeah. minutes. This is really cool stuff, guys. The kids can out check out the STEM camp tomorrow. It's going to be at the Richland Mall. we get got details for you right now at midlandsconnect.com slash GDC and registration information. This is um, really, really neat. Can I take this with me put it in my pocket? Sure. Probably drain out. Wouldn't it? Stick around. There's a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. <laughs> I'm just like tie tie the science guy. Tie ride. Tie ride. Tie ride the tie science ride. guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. With cornstarch and water. Still blowing my mind, by the way, from the South Carolina Science Academy, Mr. Nathan Yawn, and our young scientist, Bennett Young. Gentlemen, good morning again. Good morning. So this is a cool. We're going to get back to this experiment. If you didn't see this, this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in four or five days. What else have we got here for this cool experiment? What are we going to do? So, we have three cups. Uh -huh. We're going to pour 50 millimeters of water okay. in this cup. All right, fair enough. 50 millimeters again. Well, that's a pretty cool science experiment, just pouring water in a cup. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then you put 50 millimeters in this cup. Okay. Third one. Done. All right. Wait on the third one. Okay, very good. So, don't you think the water is going to be poured out? Well, obviously. 
Right, okay. So that's, good, so that's good science right there, liquids. Watch this one. Okay. Where'd it go? Where, what is that? The water's still there. What's in there? So what'd you pour in there? It's actually a sodium polyacrylate. Which, sodium polyacrylate. Yes. So we're talking about polymers today. And, All right. And uh, this is also what we use. You were asking about the uses of right. uh, the, the oobleck. That's also what we use in these diapers here. So this stuff, so this just soaks up, just soaks the water up, and it's still in there. It just soaks it up and becomes a solid? That's correct. Okay. Now, can you touch it? Yes. I can get my, I don't know if you can, I can get my fat fingers down there. So actually, it's, it feels like a, um, like a soft gel mm -hmm. kind of thing in there. That is some cool stuff, man. And right. so that's what that's what's in diapers. That's how diapers right. can soak up the kids. Exactly. And it, as he said, that was 50 milliliters. It only takes about this much. Right. So that's a quarter so teaspoon. Mm -hmm. We got in here, guys. Exactly. Quarter teaspoon. In order to. Can we try it again? Sure. All right. Let's go. Would ahead. you like to do it? Absolutely. All right. So a quarter teaspoon of this sodium poly acrylate. Acrylate. Just that part science enough for me. All right, so put that in the cup, and then put it in, in the little beaker here, 50 milliliters, you said? Yes. Is this right, Bennett? Yes. All right. So here it is. Got this, got this in the cup, where we? There, you can see it. Uh, there it is. You can see it in there. All right, we're going to pour this in. And how long does it take to, like, gel? Just seconds. Oh, my gosh. It's already done. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. How about that? All right, there it is, guys. All right, STEM, you can check out the STEM camp. It is tomorrow at the Richland Mall. A lot of cool science experiments. Really neat stuff here, guys. I'll log on to MidlandsConnect.com. We have information for you as well. And we're going to put these directions for these cool science. So, Excellent. This is really neat. Nathan, Bennett, thank you guys for coming in and sharing thank these you. really cool experiments, guys. Look at that. It's still not coming out. Stay with us. We'll be back. <laughs>